Hey fragrance friends, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate you. Today is yet another fragrance lab. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to give you some perfume and mist combos for you guys to have in your minds, maybe test out during this week, or maybe to give you ideas for your own layering combinations. Um, as I always say, not every day I wear combinations. Some days I wear straight perfumes. So whatever day I did wear combination, I will share with you. And there are a couple that I am leaving out because it didn't hit. I'm not just going to share combinations for the sake of sharing combinations. I'm only going to share what I believed hit. There are some I just have to mixa, mixa, move it on um, and not share with you because it just it didn't reach the caliber of what I wanted it um, to be with sharing it with you guys. So. With all of that being said, let's just hop right in. We'll start with what I had today. And I wanted to preface this. I really haven't gone out in the past week. I only went maybe out a few times this week, maybe two, three times at most. Um, so I don't have too many interesting stories this week, but whatever I have, I'll share it with you. Okay, for today. Okay, this is the combination we have for today. And I love, 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 love this one. Okay, so here we have... We have Summer Melody by Bath & Body Works. We have Rogue Elixir by Victoria's Secret. And if you watched my last perfume haul, you'll know what this is. I introduced it. Um, it is Deep Sea Gold from Pelkis. And this is a delicious fruity perfume and I highly recommend it. Totally affordable, it's under 40 bucks. Um, but before I wanted to share that, I actually wanted to talk to you ladies. Um, I know not all the time, you know, people get compliments. Um, and even for myself, like, I don't, I swear, like, you might seem like I don't get compliments every single day. Um, but I wanted to just talk to you guys, like, ladies, it, I want you to only look for compliments to compliment what you're already feeling inside. Meaning, like, I want you to see your inherent beauty, your inherent value, your inherent worth, your inherent coolness, right? Um, and if other people see it too, that's just, that's just whipped cream and cherry on the top of the sundae that you already are. Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't depend on compliments to feel good, okay? Make sure you you see it, you feel it, you know, because the whole world, the whole world can tell you you are beautiful, right? But if you do not feel it in here, baby girl, it doesn't matter what they're saying. It'll never sink in, you understand what I'm saying? So make sure the compliments are only complimenting what you already feel. <laughs> and with that said, the reason why I'm sharing this is because I'm trying to justify the craziness you are about to see. Because sometimes, because I've been kind of going down the rabbit hole at work, just kind of like head down focused, dealing with some stuff at work. So I've been kind of like in a funky mood and also with that time of the month and all of those things. So I have to hype myself up sometimes. And I was really kind of thinking twice not to share this with you guys because you can all think I'm crazy. But also, maybe it might help one of you guys, right? My craziness might make you guys try it and maybe it might make you feel better when you're when you're by yourself right to motivate yourself so sometimes I motivate my, myself in the mirror right and sometimes I have to be silly make myself laugh to get myself um you know kind of in a, in a better mood before I log on to a meeting right so you know I haven't been out the house the last few days the last couple of days excuse me and I didn't go out this morning I didn't go out for my Starbucks run or anything this morning um, so I needed to hype myself up. So I had a little skit with myself to hype my own stuff up. Okay, so I am gonna I'm gonna act it out for you guys here, and I'm gonna have a little prop here so you can distinguish between the first character and the second character. I mean, it's gonna be pretty pretty obvious, but this is me hyping myself up in the mirror this morning. Okay, and what do they say when you're acting? And and go whatever. Okay, so this is me walking past the mirror. Do 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 do. -do. Hey, yo, baby. Ugh, what? You smell so good. You smell so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. I thought so too. Thank you. And cut. Yeah, that's the craziness that goes on in here. So, what I'm trying. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that in public. Um, what I'm trying to say is. <laughs> Hype yourself up, girls. Hype yourselves up, because life is short. Okay, with that said, back to the combinations. Okay, so we have Summer Melody 
and Rube Elixir and Deep Sea Gold by Pelkees. So Summer Melody is bronzed honeydew. I'm sorry, golden honeydew and bronzed vanilla. It's a beautiful summery vanilla y melony scent. This is a heavy a melon scent. And yes, I wear summer fragrances in the winter. I don't wear winter fragrances in the summer, but I do wear summer fragrances in the winter. I hope that makes sense. Ooh, sorry, to jumping around made me get out of breath. Okay. Then I have Victoria's Secret Rogue Elixir. This one has red currant. Almond cream and absolute decadence. So this is really, this is fruity. And there's like this slight creaminess. I guess that's from the almond cream. So these are kind of unexpectedly, I unexpectedly put these together, but they work so well. And when you spray this, this is heavier than the Victoria's Secret Mist. So I would recommend for every one spray that you put on your body of Summer Melody, go in with two sprays, two or three sprays of Rogue Elixir because they, they spray differently. This is a much lighter spray. Okay, so that's the base. No special lotion. <clears throat> Regular Luberdum lotion. And so Deep Sea Gold from Pelkees. This is a really, really fruity perfume. There's praline in here. The nose on Fragrantica say exotic fruits, but I smell pineapple. Oh my god. This is so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh, this is so yummy. Oh my god, I definitely get pineapple. Definitely, definitely, definitely get pineapple. Um, I definitely get that candied apple. I get that praline. I get that vanilla. Um, and I, I get the musk too because there's this, this juicy creaminess to it. Can we just talk about the bottle? Can we just get it from the bottle here? So put these three things together. And again, this is affordable. This is under $40 on fragrancenet.com. And you put these together. Oh my God, it's so good. So good. So these three together, first class juiciness to uplift your spirits in this really, really dreary, dreary weather. Okay. And the next one up, we're also going to use this one as well. Okay. So this is the combination. Just a quick overview. But this way. Okay. So we have Beach Nights from Bath & Body Works. We have Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beet Driftwood, Creamina Vanilla. Um, I love putting this on the base of things when I can't really think of anything because it's like a chameleon. It just kind of blends beautifully into things because it's a slightly salty, vanilla-y smell. Mm. Oh, this is stunning. Stunning. But it doesn't, um, how do you say, interfere with anything. So, Beach Nights, all over your body. Do, 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 do. Then you come in with the same rogue elixir, do 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 do, all over your pee. You know, have fun all the way from the top of your neck all the way down to your toes. Remember what I said, ladies. And um, if you watch my Middle Eastern perfume um, collection part one, this is where I introduced this. Well, actually, it wasn't where I introduced today. I introduced this in my vanilla video. Anyway, details. Who cares? This is Rasasi. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, Rasasi um, Ibhar perfume. Um, it is a Middle Eastern perfume, but it's not Middle Eastern, like the profile you would normally think of. There's praline in here. There is tonka. And to my nose, the tonka comes off as slightly almondy. So it's praline-y, almondy, um, vanilla-y. There's a lot of vanilla in here. You can definitely get the vanilla. Ooh, God. Oh, God, this is so good. You get that apple and you definitely get the wood, but it's not woodsy. The wood just adds this nice balance to all that sweetness. And this does last, this does project. I mean, it's not like a beast, but it's at least, at least six to seven hours. And you know, I really love this scent. And again, this is affordable. I think this is under, the last time I checked, under $70 for this. And the bottle is absolutely stunning. So again, Ibhar is a really sweet vanilla. Almondy, praline, vanilla y perfume, and highly, highly, highly recommend it if you're into vanilla perfumes. And all of these together, just, and this is just a um, beautiful combination here, okay? So if you have these, put these together. And if you don't have this, try Casablanca, because according to Fragrantica, some people say some of it, 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 it smells like, but there are people that says it doesn't smell alike. But if you have it, try Casablanca, okay? All right, I'm moving on to the next one. 
Let's see, I have two more. I'm gonna go through this really quick. I have to get back to work. I have to work on some stuff. Okay, so if you watch my period perfumes of the month, you'll already know why I put these together. Okay, so just giving you an overview. So we have Honey Wildflowers. I, like, I love to use this. So just a reminder, this is Fresh Wildflowers, Crisp Pear, and Sweet Honey. So this is a beautifully like tart, sharp, sweet scent. So you have the... the the flavor of the honey, but without that sticky cloyiness. You know what I'm saying? As if they distilled just the flavor of the honey without the texture. I hope that makes sense. And then you have the crispness of the pear, and then you have the added um, aspect of the flowers, and it's just so beautifully well-rounded, and I wish I had a backup, but I don't, and I really hope they bring this back for sass. So, go with this all over the body. Then you have the body cream, do 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 and you go with spray, do 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 and then you top it off with Mac Candy Yum Yum, and it, yes, another summer perfume, guys. Um, this has, oh God, this is so good. Yes, another discontinued scent, but again, this is really readily available. This has vanilla, this has cotton candy. You really get that guava in the opening. Um, Carmen Centrix, I think I recently heard her say she smells patchouli in this. I don't smell patchouli, but the reason why I'm telling you, just so you guys can have another data point for reference. Um, yeah, I just get the cotton candy, the vanilla. I get the guava very, very strongly, but I just wanted to let you know that another um, perfume reviewer does smell patchouli. I think that's an important data point to have. So Carmen Centric does smell patchouli, so just maybe keep that in your mind, but I don't smell it. But I went in with this and this one. I did get a compliment that day. Mm, delicious. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so if you watch my period perfumes of the month, you'll know why I put all of these together. No, no shock there. How do you recommend this combination? So you have this, and you have Matte Candy Yum Yum. Put these two together. Put them together. Put these together. Pop, pop. Okay, and the last one. I haven't gotten a chance to introduce this in my Middle Eastern perfume um, yet. It is going to be in my third part. It has been quietly sitting in the front of the tray looking at me like, when are you going to talk about me? Why are you neglecting me? What's wrong with you? Do, do, do. Boop, boop. Okay, so. Oh my God, get it together. All right, so here we go. Overview. We have Bath and Body Works, Confetti Daydream. Um, ch -ch -ch. We have Fresh Raspberry, Sparkling Pear, and Blue Iris. And here we have Swiss Arabian. This is Edge. Ooh, I, oh, I really love musky scents. This, in my opinion, is a mass appealing inoffensive musky floral scent. I don't remember the actual notes. Oh yeah, this is florally and musky. Oof, this is good, this is mass appealing. This is also a strong projector and this does last a long time. I don't remember the, the actual discrete notes. All I know that it's really, really good. Oh my God, yeah, this is so good. And this one has an iris note, so th this one doesn't come out powdery. This is really fruity and this is sharp. But I thought the sharpness of this would kind of balance the rounded musk in this and the rounded flowers. And the two flower, like the blue iris, might complement this. And just the juicy pear, the juicy raspberries, that juiciness that is in here, that juicy tartness, will kind of add interest to this one. And it did. It really, really did. And just a, a forewarning, when you spray Edge, I'll put the name down below. For the ones that are not familiar with the Middle Eastern names, I'll put them down below. I'll pin the comment. For the first one minute, this may come off super synthetic-y, but I, I still think that is totally worth having in the collection because it, after one minute it goes away and it's just this gorgeous, really gorgeous um, floral musky scent. Um, yeah, so those are the ones that I have for this week and that's pretty much all that I have. And so just a quick recap, we have Summer Melody and Rogue Elixir with Pelkey's Deep Sea Gold to top that off. A beautiful, like fruity, uplifting, summery scent in this dreary weather. And again, we have Beach Nights, Rogue Elixir, and Ibhar by Rassasi. Again, I will put the names down below. And again, we have Honey Wildflower by Bath and Body Works and Matt Candy Yum Yum. And to wrap it up, we have Confetti Daydream and Miss, um, I'm sorry, Edge by Swiss Arabian. All right, thank you so much for my friends for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, just a gentle reminder to find somebody to thank today. 
Um, and more importantly, take a moment to thank God, because if you're here watching this video, that means we made it to yet another day. And even with our trials and tribulations, God is great. Thank you, my friends. Bye.